What is going on you guys, Bastion Waijo here, and today I want to go ahead and talk about the World Championship of 2021 for Yu-Gi-Oh! having been cancelled. Let me just fix this real quick. Alright, so the World Championship 2021 for Yu-Gi-Oh! has been cancelled, um, of, of course. I mean, it's not it's not something that we, I guess, expected to happen. It would have been really cool to see them maybe put up some barriers between players or whatever it might be. Just to go ahead and keep the, the, um, the potential of, of being able to play alive. But, I mean, I understand why, I mean, traveling right now is not really the best thing. The vaccine was really just released, um, so it's still, I guess, in an experimental phase. And we understand. So, essentially, what, what I want to go ahead and talk about is how is Konami going to be able to enforce the rules during the online tournaments. Now, we've already had a few examples of cheating in the past when it comes to remote duels. Most, I guess, famously, is going to be the remote... Um, Latin American champion, which I did make a video about on the channel a few weeks back, I think about two, three weeks back. But I'll go ahead and read this real quick for you guys. Uh, considering the situation with the, with the new COVID-19 infections, the health and safety of participants and related parties is being put first, and thus Yu-Gi-Oh World Champion 2021 has been cancelled. We sincerely apologize to everyone who looked forward to the event. Due to the cancellation of the event, the Yu-Gi-Oh official card games trading card series trading, trading card game. Um, is planning a large-scale online tournament for each country region while Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is planning a large-scale online tournament. Uh, we will inform you uh, via official channels in the future about further details. So what I want to know about, I guess, myself and for the community from Konami is how they're going to be able to go ahead and enforce the game. So there's two ways that Konami can have the online event for, for the TCG, right? And excluding Duel Links. Duel Links is a lot easier to go ahead and have people not cheat. It's online anyway. It's a game. Um, but when it comes to the actual TCG card game, they, there's two ways we can go about it, right? So the first way is they can go ahead and do the remote duels again, which has its flaws, or they can go ahead and make it through a, one of their online uh, games, you know, maybe Dueling Book. Doubt it because it's not, I guess, officially Konami licensed. Uh, they could go with Legacy of Duelist, which is what I believe if they're going to make it a uh, a game wide thing. That's the route they're gonna most likely be gonna be willing to take, um, and it really just depends on how they're gonna be going, you know, about it. So let's talk about the the officiating. How they're gonna be able to reduce the amount of people who are cheating. So right now, the only thing that is required for remote duels is that you have to have your main deck showing, your extra deck showing, right, and your Everything on your board and your hand has to be showing at all times. I don't think that that's enough, clearly. So what I believe should be the case is if they add more rules to the remote dueling. So essentially, how about maybe you have to keep both hands on the on visible at all times. That might be something you can definitely do. Maybe you have to zoom out your camera so you can see the surroundings as well, just to make sure there's nothing around it. Just to make sure you're not taking cards out and for any any time that you might take your hand away from the camera so that they're not visible first you get a warning second one you get game loss and if you do a third you get DQ'd and that's essentially what I believe needs to come down to in order to prevent people from continuing to cheat in this game I mean it's it's it's, it's messed up that people who actually who who really dedicate themselves to this game and want to you know play well and play fair are essentially uh, it's, stream, it's deemed irrelevant because some people want to go ahead and use the remote dueling and take advantage of it and you know cheat because that's an opportunity. So I think what Konami needs to do to make remote duels viable is need to have first of all both hands on the mat at all times. Okay, if your hands are not on the mat, then at least your hand, your what's it called, both hands, or your all cards in your hand must be on at all times because you want to go ahead and drink some water or it might be but any event that both your hand and your physical hands leave the mat leave the visibility at the same time warning game loss dq I, unfortunately that's how it has to be in order for us to be able to officiate the remote dueling properly uh, also i wouldn't mind if they would make it zoom out a little bit more so you have to see the entire play mat and whatever's surrounding it just so you make sure that they don't have any you know cards on the side. Now, that would be one way that Konami go ahead and make sure that, you know, people are still able to go ahead and play in their in their regional tournaments, and they could probably actually do a world championship if they do it all online, 
and you know, oh, I hit my mic. Uh, if they do it all online and then essentially having everything be online, then you don't, there's no interaction, no traveling. You usually go Wi Fi. Um, but that's, that's pretty much what I think that has to happen. Uh, now, the other way we can go, go about it is if we use a Konami licensed game. Now, Konami has been working on a game. Um, and I talked about this a, a few weeks back, I think a month or two ago, actually. They're working on a game as a officially official Konami licensed simulator. Now, if that comes out during this year, then maybe we can go ahead and see about potentially uh, having that be the platform that players go to to go ahead and make and you know generate their their decks and you know go up against each other online. Um, I just you know really hope that it's not taken like a like an EDO Pro, YGO Pro, any type of, of these pros that, you know, have their kinks. But they, I, honestly, I think they work pretty pretty well when it comes to just testing out how decks work. Um, however, for official Konami events, if maybe something doesn't perform like it's supposed to, maybe there's a glitch, then it could lead to some, um, I guess, unhappy players. Uh, another way they could do it is maybe using Legacy of the Duelist. The only issue with that is, of course, that you have to continuously buy packs in Legacy of Duelist, and not all the cards that are in physical uh, life are, have come out in Legacy of Duelist just yet. So if they ram up production on that and just get everything released, and you have a way to go ahead and play the deck that you play in real life there, maybe they have any way that you can maybe scan the card in physical, and then be able to transport it here only for these events then maybe that's something we can definitely do because then you don't have to go ahead and rebuy the sealed only because you can't buy singles in legacy of duelist which is a big downside of the, of the game um so that's pretty much the only two ways that i see this working out at duel links i'm not really worried about again it's it's an online game regardless so it's not like it's going to be uh, you know uber affected by this however for the tcg i want for konami to be able to still give us the world championship experience without having to do the without canceling without having to travel it's unfortunate that it's canceled but if they want to go ahead and move forward with this then that's definitely something we can definitely do i mean i, I miss you know the konami you know, regional events national events as much as the next guy but i really want to make sure that all of our options are heard before we just go ahead and cancel everything um, so I think that's the two best ways to go about this. Either you do the controlled remote duels where you have an admin watching pretty much each and every single game just to be safe, uh, which is going to take a lot of manpower, but that's what's going to have to happen. Or you go ahead and put everything either in Legacy of Duelist or another simulator. I doubt they're going to use Dueling Book. Um, but yeah, that's the only two ways I really know about it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. How about the World Championship 2021 being canceled? What ways do you think that Konami should go ahead and experiment with to go ahead and make sure that, they, that this might able still be able to be to be happening? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, leave a like in the video if you want World Championship 2021 to be uncanceled. I will like the video myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, subscribe for more videos, guys. I post here daily. Uh, Monday through Saturday at 10 a.m. sharp, and I will see y'all in the next one.